Hey everybody, it's me, Cyrus. Well, I want to talk to you about my magazine. The first issue turned out to be a big success. I got a lot of great positive feedback. You guys were awesome. This first issue focused on the release of the 16-bit consoles, the launch. It had information about the games that came out, the specs for the systems, some articles, even like some cheat codes, some controversy stuff from back in the day, and some retro themed ads. It was, it was great. I, I had a great time making it. And like I said, you guys have been awesome in giving me response and reaction and, and your thoughts to it. Well, the second issue is on its way. And I want to talk to you about the theme for this new issue. Number two will be focused on Sega. Issue number two will be coming very soon and it's going to have all kinds of information about everything Sega has done, the different consoles that they've released, their arcade games, their handheld games, and some of the best titles that are available. It's all about Sega. There's a lot of different sections in the magazine and it's not so much a, a history lesson so much as it is just a celebration of this amazing brand and its fantastic library of games for each of the consoles uh, and all of the different platforms that Sega has supported over the many years that they've been around. It's one of my favorites. I love Sega to death. I love uh, so we, we all love Sega, right? And we all sort of felt like uh, maybe the Saturn didn't get enough love when it was out. We felt like uh, the Dreamcast was had its life cut short. And I think we've all left sort of with this feeling that Sega had so much more potential than, than what it finally did realize once upon a time. But it's a great brand. There's so much to talk about. So many fantastic games for each of these systems. The legacy of Sega is absolutely golden, and I hope that you'll enjoy the second issue of Super Mega Graphics 64, where we focus on retro gaming's brightest star. Thank you so much.